What is going on guys? It's Kevin here with Mod My Mods and it is a lovely Tuesday afternoon. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right as they might say. Uh, I appreciate everybody being here for a, another Mod My Mods news update. Uh, today we're going to do basically a little bit of news. Uh, I need your help trying to figure out what type of headset that we're going to end up purchasing uh, for a charity build. And I uh, wanted to give a shout out to pretty much everybody that's uh, helped us out in any way, shape or form, uh, or has been a part of anything that we do. Uh, we're kind of having a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, sad feelings considering while we were at uh, DreamHack last year uh, and the year last year, year before both years but basically uh we're missing that because well right now we'd be up in montreal hanging out with our canadian friends uh and unfortunately due to uh terrible circumstances with health and border and all that type of stuff we are still stationary here in rochester new york but um hope everybody had a happy and safe weekend uh with uh, labor day going on hopefully yesterday you were able to go out and enjoy some of the uh the festivities if you didn't have to work or get some food with family or whatever it is hopefully you guys were able to enjoy that and uh, have a safe time doing that uh, i know the world has been kind of a crazy place and it's uh you know it's doesn't look like it's going to get any less crazy anytime soon so uh you know what what are you gonna do right so uh but needless to say we are here we're working we're trying to get all your orders out we shipped out tons of stuff today um because obviously the postal service and any of the delivery services were closed yesterday uh however we did ship out uh, it was like 200 some odd orders or something like that today so uh if you are waiting for tracking you should have tracking from us later this evening i would imagine uh if you don't get tracking you know obviously by the end of today tomorrow it should update um but uh everything did go out as planned so We'll see how it goes. Uh, besides that, that's pretty much all I got for when it comes to updates with Mod My Mods. Uh, we did a bunch of different um, uh, little upgrades here and there around the shop, but nothing really to uh, to wave a stick at. You know, uh, last week we talked about our CNC machine getting the uh, the new uh, compressor, uh, so that's all been wired in and that's good to go. Um, as you can see, Torque is sitting here behind me on the uh, on the ground here that I got to pull out of the box and make sure everything's good to go with that because uh, we got that back from our uh, player zone competition. Uh, that was actually pretty neat. We had, um, I think there was uh, four winners in total. The grand prize winner ended up getting $500 uh, cash, which is pretty cool. Um, but, you know, that's pretty much about it for... Uh, the competition it's all over with so we brought everything back to the shop and uh, now we got to set everything up again so that is pretty much it uh again thanks everybody uh for joining us in the chat i got travis maven blake uh blake i haven't seen the motherboard yet uh, i'm not really sure where the hell it is but the cpu did come in that's all good to go and that landed fine uh derek uh your order for the three and three has been set aside thank you again by the way you didn't you didn't have to pay for all that stuff, but I appreciate you. We appreciate the support, and like I said, I'll get that out to you as soon as we possibly can. Uh, Next Gen, wow, look at that. Derek himself from Next Gen PCs is here as well. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Yes, so far, so good with the Mod My Mods team. Hopefully, uh, you're doing uh, well yourself over there on the other side of the state, pretty much. Uh, and uh, it's it's been a while. I've been, I've been watching some of your headshots. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty cool pretty cool stuff man uh i don't play the the call of duty as much as i probably want to or should but that's okay that's all right i get to watch your streams and it's it's pretty incredible so um but today i just wanted to talk about a couple few things here and there and uh basically see what i found on the internet today and ask your guys opinion about some peripherals so without further ado let's get the show on the road uh, today I took a look at PCMR. They posted something about the Oris 30 series card. Now this is the 3080 Extreme, which looks pretty dang cool. Uh, not gonna lie, it looks pretty awesome. And obviously Pedro, you know, being Pedro in there, it looks uh, adds a little extra flair to it. But yes, it does have an LCD screen on the side of it that does show off all of the. Uh, I mean, hell, you can make it do whatever. I'm, it's it's an LED screen, so you want to make it do fancy stuff like have the Oris 
uh, eagle or falcon or whatever the hell you want to call it character dance around on the screen you can do that um, but it's pretty cool what they've designed and what they've put together here uh, sweet little video that obviously Pedro put together uh, himself which guys hilarious so make sure you give um, there that's that LCD screen I was talking about um, make sure you give uh, that guy some love PCMR official PCMR uh, they're on Twitter Instagram and all sorts of other different places so um, speaking of which, let's give a whole bunch of shout outs to everybody that, uh, that we've worked with in, in the past. And now I'm sure I'm going to forget a lot of people on this little spiel, but I'm really hoping, I'm really, really hoping that I can at least give you some support here because, uh, everyone from, uh, the chat probably knows uh, Shellback Tech. He is a good friend of ours based out of North Dakota. He builds all sorts of crazy, crazy high-end builds. This is his personal build, um, but all of the builds are actually for ch charity. Uh, they go to uh, disabled veterans or first responders uh, that have you know ha are in need of some sort of uh, uh, a PC. And he puts together some really awesome stuff. Obviously, this is his own personal PC, which he did. You know all, all sorts of crazy goodness in um, but make sure you go to Instagram and give him a follow uh, he does a lot of really really cool stuff yeah that guy that that bald-headed beautiful guy right there um, builds all sorts of really cool stuff I actually have one of those jerseys I didn't bring it with me today I should have um, but uh, give him a follow he knows he knows what he's and uh, he always could use the support uh, he's a, a good friend of ours and has been doing it for quite some time now and uh, we always appreciate his feedback and his support uh, with everything that he does. On top of that, uh, we also have our good friend AK Mod, who's based out of Taiwan. Uh, he actually made the cover of Extreme PC um, back in September uh, for his um, Pit Boy mod that he put together. Uh, some really, really incredible stuff uh, that he's put together. We just worked with him. Uh, not too long ago to get him a couple, you know, little things here and there. But the guy does some incredible fabrication, some incredible work. You might have remember his uh, PC here, um, the minimalist build that was all wood and uh, just unbelievable stuff that he's put together. Um, so if you guys are looking for somebody that really does some awesome looking, I mean, look at this thing. That's actually a PC that he put together that has all the distros and the channels and the just the guy's got some incredible skills when it comes to modding so give him a follow as well that's ak mod tw he's based out of taiwan does some really really cool stuff good friend of ours we actually had the chance to meet him when we were in Comptex. really awesome dude and and does some pretty cool stuff uh another friend of ours liquid house uh who's based out of salt lake city salt lake city in utah um, actually builds some really really fancy stuff as well uh, he's been using mod water and whole in actually his main build here uh, obviously he was trying to mimic and basically get an idea of where he was going to put his RTX card but uh, this is you know mod water fluid um, the the blue stuff is at least and he's uh, he, he's been working with us for quite some time now he also uh, you know supports us and we support him by uh, basically being able to provide him the parts that he needs in order to put these builds together um another great builder and a great modder that's uh, located out in uh, the western side of the united states but also give him a follow like share tweet whatever you'd like uh liquid house h-a-u-s is his follow on instagram uh next guy Mm, Oracle Mods, our good friend, based out of, I think it's, this is where he's at. I honestly don't remember. I don't remember where the hell he's from. But we've worked with Oracle Mods on a, on a couple different occasions. Uh, most recently is his build here that actually we put, that uh, he put together for PAX East in 2020, uh, which was just this last year um, in Boston. Uh, it is an incredible looking thing. Um, and he's done some really, really awesome stuff. Uh, he's, he's got some really, really neat ideas, some really cool fabrication. And he's actually uh, pretty good at photography, too. Uh, he's got some pretty neat designs and different PCs that he's put together uh, over the years. And obviously, most recently, he put together uh, some of these as well. Um, 
Got some really, really neat stuff going on here. So Colorado, that's where he's from. Damn it, who am I thinking of that's in Texas? I don't remember now. I don't remember now. Well, either way, um, make sure that you give Andre a, um, a follow here, Oracle Mods, uh, Oracle underscore mods at Instagram. Um, and before I forget, because I don't want to ever forget Tristan, Tristan from Smart Southern Solutions. Uh, maybe that's who it was that's based out of Texas. No, t Tristan's in Tennessee, I thought. I don't know. Regardless, I got to get this all written down in like a... a Excel sheet so I can figure out where everybody is. Uh, Tristan also does some really, really cool stuff. Um, you may have, you may remember this uh, Oris PC that he put together that's actually uh, a sparkle coat on um, on top of the, uh, the Cougar case there. Um, but he also put together this Final Fantasy build uh, that was on display during um, PAX East as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> just as Jason, Jason knows where everyone's from. See, that's, that's what matters. Um, and so he's done some pretty cool stuff, uh, and, and obviously continues to do more and more stuff. And Tristan is in Utah. See, I knew I'm always forgetting somebody. I'm always forgetting somebody. And I forgot to grab Nick, Mr. Y2K computers as well. Uh, he's based out of Vegas, right? near vegas nevada i'm pretty sure if i remember make sure you go give him a uh, follow as well um i'm trying to do trying to do all my shout outs as much as i can and try and make sure that everybody's included because i i realistically forget a lot of the time so uh i appreciate you ever, you know everybody being here and being a part of this um i wanted to actually we're going to talk about that in a little bit here um also wanted to share Envious Mods, our good friend Kalen, who's uh, located over our, uh, in Oregon. Uh, he does some really, really cool stuff. He's done some really awesome builds together. Um, we've helped him out, and he's helped us out. We've been working together for, God, almost four years now, something like that. Oh, my goodness. So, oh, okay. Nick's from, Nick is from Barstow, Cal California. I'm sorry, man. I Like I said, I gotta, I'm just going to ask Jason and pick his brain for, like, a week about hey man who's this guy from where's he from i forgot i forgot I forgot so um envious Moz is actually located out in oregon he does some really really cool stuff um he he really does put together some awesome mods i'm sure you've seen some of his stuff that uh that he's working on um you know anything from uh the the zadak uh not the zadak thing the um the cyber power uh cyberpunk build that he's been putting on uh for a long time as well as some of the other crazy builds that he's put together um he also made this one um which is the crazy predator uh imperial thing um but he's also got a crazy water cooled setup on the back side of it here which hopefully you'll see in a second here uh but yeah that's actually a pc that's mounted to the back of this uh this setup here with obviously a crazy ultra wide monitor and i'm sure you know that guy mr pedro from pcmr himself uh was able to stop by the uh, ces booth this is the alpha cool booth the alpha cool red bull booth um and i got obviously got a chance to take a look at this and hang out with us and talk and you know that type of stuff so um definitely give him uh, a follow a like a share a tweet he'd appreciate it and i know i i would too and uh yes that's right nicholas uh from y2k custom pcs uh i'll use the uh mod water inside of uh his industrial carnage build um let's see if i can find it here yes that one right there so inside of this build, we actually uh, helped him out with the mod water uh, that he's got inside of there, which is like a, um, it's more like a rusty brown and dirty type of water. But we made it, uh, you know, obviously for that pur purpose um, to make it kind of look uh, a little grungy and stuff like that. So um, again, Nicholas uh, helped us out quite a bit. Uh, he works on a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know if I like this performance PC garbage that he's got there. But uh, the rest of it is really, really cool. He does some pretty cool stuff. Um, and, again, give him a follower as well. Uh, Y2K underscore custom PCs as well. 
um, Taffin, Taffin.ca, uh, based out of Cal, uh, California, no, nice try, north, more north than that, Canada, uh, he's based out of Ontario, actually, just a hop, skip, and a jump over the, uh, Ontario Lake here, um, but he put this one together, uh, with our help here, this is actually based off of, um, uh, CNC, uh, Command and Conquer, uh, so they call this the Tiberium Reactor, uh, which he's put together and he built uh, a little while ago and he's been bringing it to different shows uh, to, you know, obviously have uh, people take part and hang out and see his uh, his build and actually use it and play on it, which is uh, which is pretty cool, which is pretty neat. So uh, make sure you give him a follow as well. He goes out to a bunch of different, um, different shows and puts stuff together, uh, you know, in, uh, in Canada. So... Uh, give him a like, a follow, a tweet, a share. He would appreciate it. I know I would. Hey, look at that. Mod water. Um, again, teffin.ca at Instagram.com. 666 posts. Dude, you got to you gotta change that. You got to add one more. Come on. You're scaring me here. Uh, another good friend of ours, uh, Random 3D Design, Stefan, uh, who's based out of Michigan. Him and his lady do some really incredible work. I mean, you want to talk about stuff that's way over the top? This guy, way over the freaking top. Um, he has made all sorts of different builds. This one in particular, I thoroughly enjoy. Uh, this is the WOPR case, which is based out of War Games. If you remember that film from back in the 80s, which was pretty awesome. Yes, he actually uh, did mimic this directly off of the, um, the movie, which is pretty dope. And then he's also got like all of the uh, LEDs that are on throughout the entire case. Uh, it does some incredible stuff. It actually has, the, uh, has a programmed LED scheme that goes throughout the entire, uh, the entire build, which is it's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, the other thing that you might have known or that you might remember uh, from Stefan is, well, obviously his crazy X-Wing um, that was on display also in at Alpha Cool, uh, in the Alpha Cool suite here. Um, he and I are working on a couple different things. I can't exactly tell you what we're working on, but we are working on a couple different uh, applications, and he's going to be helping us out with a few things in the next couple of builds. Um, so make sure you give him a follow as well. Um, he's done some really, really cool stuff. Again, him and his lady. His lady does some really awesome stuff as well. Uh, she helps out with doing prop design and, and just unbelievable amounts of talent those two have. So give them a follow. Random Design 3D, and that's also on Instagram.com. Uh, they also have an Etsy shop. Uh, if you wanted to try and buy a few things and that type of stuff, you can take a look and see what they have for sale uh, does it play chess yes i'm almost 100 percent sure that one plays chess that's that is for sure uh steph is one of the best monitors that i know i i would have to i would have to agree with that he is unbelievable unbelievable so um i'm just checking the chat here now pardon my pardon my uh my my laps and fluidness here uh, I think we all have some mud water rocking our rigs now. Well, that's how it's supposed to be, right? Why wouldn't you want some awesome American-made water that uh, that is actually good PC coolant? You know, I mean, we take what comes out of the tap here in Rochester, out of the city water, which is pretty disgusting, and then we purify it down to 0 0.05 parts per million, so it's pretty much the cleanest water that uh, any of the coolant is uh, actually used. Um, and then we actually add our uh, concentrates to it. So it's probably one of the cleanest coolants uh, that are out on the market. So, you know, why not support uh, support a local business that's uh, that's in, you know obviously here in the United States in Rochester, New York. That uh, we actually make it right here. We make it right down the hall here in the uh, the, the warehouse. So. Uh, <laughs> It's, 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 I was wondering, ew, rock water. Yeah, I agree. No, Rochester City water is disgusting. Uh, you might as well have some sort of purification system on it. And guess what? We got a hell of a purification system. That's for sure. That is, uh, that is for sure. Lake Ontario, almost flammable. That's not true. Come on. Come on, Lake Erie. I mean, I mean, Lake Erie catches on fire underneath, like down by Ohio. 
if you didn't that, i mean that's why they call it the lake of fire because that it literally catches catches on fire but that that's beside the point um derek uh that builds awesome the woodworking has been interesting to me just dip my toes in the side of things i've done a small wood plaque for a current build on my page definitely like to get better at it though it's super fun yes woodworking is a whole different whole different uh ball game uh to be perfectly honest with you i don't wood at all in any way shape or form i'm just not a i i can build motors i can i can do basic circuitry i can do wiring sleeving build computers all that type of stuff but when it comes to wood and yeah mm -mm, no unfortunately that doesn't doesn't go in for some reason um but anyways, uh, yes, I think that wood is an unbelievable uh, th talent to work with if you can do it right and make it work. James Daly, made us from the finest toilet water. Hey, you can make sangria in the toilet, so I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Uh, I mean, I want to make coolant from Whistler water. So much cooking. In that <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to overclock your PC uh, at least tenfold because it'll be it'll be binging off the walls, and then unfortunately, it's probably going to burn out pun intended anyways uh let's see what we got here um all right so yeah that was random 3d design or random design 3d stefan good good friend of ours uh, him and his lady do some great stuff give them a like share follow tweet all that type of stuff uh, another good friend of ours is tiny tim over in uh california he's in san diego he goes and uh steals some from thermal take pretty much every other week heads up and basically stops at the uh the warehouse and goes yeah let me let me get that. I'm going to need that stuff because, yeah, Tim, I couldn't agree with you, Shellback. Tim is one of the coolest and nicest dudes I've ever met. Um, he he really does put some pretty quality builds together. And, again, also a very, very talented photographer. You know, um, he, he uh, obviously, as you can see, he take some photo you know photos and stuff like that but like really that that's pretty good it's pretty it's a pretty nice shot right there and then uh where's the one pc that he had that was inside of oh where is it there it is yeah it's like on the bridge or something i don't know i would I, the fact that you took your case all the way out into whereverville in order to take that shot quality i like it so uh, make sure you go give uh, Tim PC underscore works, W-E-R-K-Z, on Instagram. A follow, a like, a share, a tweet. Again, he's a, he's a good friend of ours, and uh, he does some pretty awesome stuff. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, another good friend of ours is Kiri over at EMR Key, who's based out of Malaysia. He actually builds all sorts of craziness as well. Uh, this is one of his most recent creations uh, that... Uh, obviously built for a customer um but he does all sorts of craziness we got the chance to meet him over in computex over in uh, taiwan um he he does some pretty pretty cool stuff he actually just moved into a a new workspace which is really awesome for him i'm really glad to see him actually you know come back into uh to building and stuff like that he uh took a little bit of a break a much needed break per se and uh was able to get back into it and really has put some some pretty cool designs and some pretty cool uh, stuff out and we'll continue to build you know obviously for that uh, that side of the world so uh, make sure you go and give him a like to share a tweet a follow as well uh, emarque e-m-a-r-q-u-e dot c-o on instagram as well does some some cool stuff we really really appreciate it and now obviously because I just saw um, my, my good friend Jonathan. I can't forget about him. Brain Tech Society. Uh, him and Jason do some really, really awesome stuff. J uh, Jonathan is based out of uh, Montreal, Canada, uh, where they speak fluid French, and you can't read any of the, the street signs if you don't speak French because it's got a délé blah, blah, blah in front of it and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we use him as our official Mod My Mods translator while we're up there. But, man, he does some pretty cool stuff as well. Um, he's actually working on this crazy orange PC. He just sent me a photo, and he was all upset. I don't exactly know what went wrong because I, well, I'm obviously doing the stream, so I can't really tell. Um, but uh, apparently something, something got messed up, which sucks. That's not fun, you know. 
that's not that's not fun um so he's he does some really really awesome stuff he, he actually we partnered with him to do the uh, streamer giveaway uh the 24 pin lee and lee uh, streamer plus giveaway so he was also part of that and uh has helped us on a couple different occasions um i was actually thinking about him and uh what we were doing uh exactly one year ago today you know, we were up in Montreal and having a good old time and putting on a show with uh, Oris, one of the best Oris uh, teams that uh, that we've worked with and, and just made it awesome and fun, and, and it was cool. It was a lot of, lot of cool stuff. Um, again, give him some, some love. He's an awesome person. Him and Jason are fantastic people. Uh, Brain Tech Society, all one word, Instagram.com. Um, let's see. Who else am I th forgetting? Uh, uh, no, not, not that. Didn't mean that. This one. Yep, that one. I did. It's not a testing. I promise it's not. Um, TBB mods. TBBBB mods. T. Tango pop up bravo mods. That's Kevin James Daly. Another lovely. I'm pretty sure Kevin's in Canada. Right? Aren't you over in Canada, over on the other side? Like, like way, way over, like that way, west, BC area, something like that. I don't remember, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but uh, TPB, uh, TPB, Jesus, that is, that's a tough one. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, he, he actually put some pretty cool stuff together. He's building this monstrosity inside of the Monster Labo PC. Uh, Team Pipe Bomb. Okay. Makes more sense now. And he's in BC. Yes! One out of nine. I got I got one out of nine, guys. I'm doing I'm doing well. Anyways, uh, yeah, make sure you go check out his page as well. He does some really, really awesome stuff. Uh, he, he did the Milwaukee build. I don't know if you guys remember this one. This one was an awesome looking build that he put together. I'm um, just silly with the, the red and the white. I'm not a red type of guy, but the way that he put this one together with the Milwaukee label and the fuel and all that type of stuff was a really, really neat way of tying it all together. So um, definitely go give him a love. I like, I share, I tweet, you know, that type of thing. Uh, and last but not least, just because I could never forget Mr. Fox himself, the Fox Man, Mr. Job Lub, a.k.a. Jeff. Uh, Jeff has been pretty much building PCs and doing engineering type of stuff for a long time now. A uh, good friend of ours. We had the chance to go meet him out in, uh, in the Netherlands there when we were over there for one of our shows or one of our things. Um... And Jeff has put together some really, really cool stuff. You know, obviously on top of his PC that's inside of a desk that he actually makes himself by hand, um, he's actually put together some really cool PCs as well. Uh, we, I'm pretty sure, helped him. Sp I think we did that one as well. We helped uh, sponsor him with that one. Um, and a couple different PCs that he's put together. Now, I, recently he's been doing... Yeah, there you go. There's some versions of his desk. So as you can tell, you know, it start, starts with one and gets a little better and gets a little better and then just gets insane. So um, make sure you give this guy a, a like, a share, a tweet, a follow, and everything like that. He's a he's an awesome guy. Uh, him and his lady are fantastic people, and they really uh, they really bring some stuff to this modding modding society. You know, they they've really been uh, great great friends of ours great people to talk to bounce back ideas off of and 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 everything so uh make sure you go give him a, a like a share a tweet a follow that type of thing ja underscore so j-a-h underscore b-l-u-b on instagram as well so um i think i'm gonna stop there because i've literally been rambling on about how much i love everybody because you guys are really awesome and we obviously wouldn't be here without you guys um so I, if I forgot you, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Say something in the chat. Slap me upside the face. Whatever you got to do because I, I appreciate, appreciate each and every one of you. Seriously. Uh, we wouldn't be here without you. So um, we, uh, we really want to make sure that everybody, uh, you know, gets the uh, appreciation that is deserved, you know. Um, that being said, uh, we also follow Hardware Canucks Dimitri, uh, who does a lot of really, really cool stuff. Um, him and his crew are actually 
really intelligent, know what they're doing, and actually uh, we've talked with them and hung out with them and all sorts of things. Uh, basically stalk them in the, uh, uh, where were we leaving? Toronto Pearson Airport for a little while. That was fun. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah, Dimitri is kind of nuts. Don't forget to follow Kevin. You no, know, you don't. You don't like me. Just leave me alone. Leave me out of it. You know, you guys are the stars here, not me. I, I just try and deliver some sort of value to this place. But the whole reason that I wanted to bring up this particular um, key, because it's a custom key cap, uh, is that I wanted to try and build our own keyboard. And that seems like an awful idea. But... Um, I honestly have no idea where to go when it comes to building our own keyboards. Uh, I've been looking to try and make a Star Wars-esque keyboard um, to match our black and white and gray build that we're putting together with AMD. Um, but I think the, the best way for us to actually do that is to actually build a keyboard from the ground up, which seems like it could be an utter disaster. I don't know. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions or ideas of where to go, how to do it, um, and and basically any suggestions or ideas that might not necessarily break the bank when it comes to building a keyboard, because, I mean, I looked at it. You can spend upwards of like five, $600 on just building your own keyboard, and that's... Pfft, I, I ain't got money for that. I'm not made of, not made of gold. I, you know, that... That that's I stop at custom keycaps. Yeah, that's pretty much where I stopped. Um, I honestly I don't know exactly what to do when it comes to that. I know that you get a big PCB and you get a case and then you can customize the case and do the different uh, yeah mechanicalkeyboards.com. I was looking there as well because um, they have they have all sorts of craziness um, and and all sorts of of goodness. But I didn't exactly know if there was like a preferred place that you guys. Uh, suggest or if maybe even somebody knows how to get into contact with them or would want to build one for us or whatever um, let me know I'd be I'd be happy to entertain that idea and think about it because again you can spend upwards of hundreds of dollars on stuff like that I mean look at this artisan keycap like the dude's walking on the moon type of thing that's unbelievable Unbelievable. I, I couldn't believe that when I saw it. I'm like, this is that's so cool. Um, so that made me started thinking, you know, about the different keycaps and the different types and basically what could we build that would be a uh, be a sweet little keyboard that would match our our uh, our Star Wars build that's coming up here. So uh, the next thing that I want uh, keeps will keep you tight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I. I don't doubt that fragility. I don't doubt that. Yeah, keyboards will send you down a rabbit hole. Pretty much just like anything else. You know, any any water cooling? Oh, you want you wanted an AIO? That's cool. Yeah, now how about you do a custom loop? Yeah, and then down the rabbit hole you go. But, um, so that was one thing I did want you, uh, want some help with. That would be awesome if anybody has some suggestions. Uh, Kevin's going to send me, Mr. James Daly's going to send me a, uh, message after the show i appreciate that any and all suggestions are welcome i really again i don't know what i'm doing when it comes to building my own keyboard it's a keyboard you buy one and it works and it goes clicky clack if you have a loud one so um another thing that i do need some help with is that uh i was on newegg and i was looking for a a, a, a pair of headphones because we're doing a uh, a charity build and we're working with this uh these group of people to actually put together this awesome computer for this uh, um, a guy that has MS and so we're trying to not break the bank when it comes to different headsets and peripherals and all sorts of otherness all other goodness so what is one of the top rated headphones or headsets that you would suggest now let me clarify that I would like it to be wired I don't necessarily like that wireless crap because it constantly dies and it always costs more. I think that's awful. Um, I would like it to have a microphone on it. This one, obviously, no microphone. It's right in front of me. Um, having an external microphone, yeah, that's cool and all, but like for this setup, we need to kind of go budget, right? 
So I was kind of looking at these headphones, and to be honest with you, I haven't bought a set of headphones since, like, Turtle Beach back in, like, the 80s. I don't know. I, mean, I say the 80s now, like 2008 type of thing. Um, I pretty much now use an actual set of headphones, a real microphone, and, like, a mixer and stuff like that, which is total freaking overkill uh, for what we're doing. I mean, for streaming and stuff like that, if you're actually using it right, that might not be a bad idea um logitech g pro okay so i was actually looking at that where is it hold on because i was looking at that the g pro if because all right so let me oh sorry i'm gonna scroll back let me look at the the messages here maven uses corsair which i had a corsair headset for a long time and then ended up i think i gave it to my nephew uh, I would say the Bo Vo Void Pro is okay for the price in a closed back wired set. Yeah, I thought so too. The where was it here? Uh, I thought I looked at it. Where is it? Hmm, maybe I didn't look at it. Okay, so I did look at the HS60, which is the surround carbon color version of that. Um, the Corsair, which wasn't you know again wasn't crazy. It's like sixty bucks or so. Um, Luna saying the Logitech G Pro. Okay, so let's go Logitech, and let's see what the G Pro, the G Pro X gaming headset, wireless one, I'm sure, is almost two hundred dollars. Can't break the bake there, kid. So, the G Pro gaming headset here, I think, is wired. I'm hoping it's wired. Um. But maybe, you know, maybe maybe because of the wireless, this maybe the batteries have gotten better on it or whatever. But uh, the G Pro is wired. Okay. All right. It isn't wireless. Okay. Well, then that might not be a bad idea. Um, still under $100. That's kind of what I was looking for. Anything under 100 would be better. Um, you know, maybe, maybe 80 or below might be cool. Um, Wow, I just got a message from our uh, our, our employee Corey actually, or our warehouse connoisseur. Uh, Corey says he rocks a Logitech G Pro, and he says it's awesome. Um, I'm okay with that. I like that, and I've actually G Pro is wired. G Pro isn't okay. All right, so there's a couple votes for the G Pro. I like that. Uh, and Travis is saying check out the Void Pro. And that's what we're going to look at next. Yeah, these are the wired ones. Okay. Well, let's see here. Uh, type in the Void Pro. They fit better on the ear. Okay. The HS60 is drives them nuts because they're open back. Okay. So, open back, HS60. Goodbye. You're, you're fired. Okay, moving on. So... Uh, Gaming Void Pro, RGB Premium, Headset, 7.1 Carbon, Headphone, blah, 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 awesome, Seven, uh, $91.39. Um, that's not bad. Uh, the wired plugs, okay, so I'm getting even more information about the Logitech G Pro, so we're going to have to look at those again. Um, the other thing that I was looking at was these Krakens. We used to sell, well, I mean, hell, we used to use a lot of these Krakens um, for a long time. And they're relatively universal. However, they are Razer. Sometimes their service and support isn't the greatest. Um, however, uh, that was our, yeah, the Kraken are blah now. Yeah, they used to be good headsets back in the day. But now, apparently, they just, they're terrible. So, bam, you're gone. Um, I wanted to look at these because, to be honest with you, I didn't know what anyone, um, if anyone had used these before, which are the Thermaltake Esports Shock Pros, which they look comfortable as hell. Uh, but I can't imagine for $40 they're amazing. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go, yeah, no. And no, we're we're gonna go Logitech. Yeah, let's go back here. Let's go headsets, and we'll go Logitech. The pros is what everybody's saying. The G Pro, and then uh, warehouse connoisseur Corey again pipes in and says that the wired plugs underneath the head. Oh, 
It's wired plugs and it's underneath the left headphone. The cord is great length and it's not too long or too short. It's just right. Hey, that's exactly what we were saying today. Today's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right. So all right, this definitely is probably one of the top contenders. The Logitech G Pro headset um, and the Corsair Void Pro RGB between those two. Uh, the HyperX, yeah, all right, whatever, no. I mean, we might as well spend some decent money on this, right? So between the Logitech G Pro gaming headset and the Corsair Void Pro RGB USB Premium, oh, why it's USB? Are the, are the G Pros USB as well? Or no? Do those plug in like a normal headset? How, it looks like it plugs in like a normal headset. I would hope it plugs in like a normal headset. Because to be perfectly honest with you, any headset that's USB usually comes with problems. Whether it be feedback, whether it be not having enough USB ports, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, so that's just a regular connection. That's cool. Um, so... Between those two, that'll probably be the determining factor here is uh, just which one's more available, readily available than the other. It does look like this one will get here at some point in time, so looks like I have both. <laughs> There's a non-USB version. Perfect. Okay, cool. So maybe I'll take a look at that then. Um, uh, I'll take a look at the two different ones between the Corsair Gaming Pro and then the Logitech G Pro. Um, but again, thank you everybody that's contributed and helped us with that uh, because I honestly, pff, I don't know when it comes to headsets. It's been a long time since I actually you know, bought a pair. These ARGs are, are pretty nice. Uh, I have a nice set of um, uh, razors at home that have just been a delight um, with a, you know an external microphone and stuff like that. So uh, buying a new headset is a new uh new experience for me so uh logitech over corsair logitech has a 7.1 usb dac but can be used with that uh standard plugs okay all right i didn't know it had a 7.1 dac that's it's kind of neat wow huh all right well some insightful information there i appreciate you uh, everybody contributing to that that's fantastic i will uh put these two as the contenders of what we're going to do and what we're going to pick um and uh thanks again for all of your help appreciate that uh now earlier i was talking about our lovely friend jonathan uh from brain tech society and what i wanted to do is i wanted to share some photos of uh you know what we were doing exactly one year ago we were actually setting up uh these different pcs at the oris booth which was pretty awesome good photo of our good friend jonathan there uh with this pc on the end the cosmic build which has been all over the united states and been featured in a couple different areas um and then obviously the demas tech bfd the crazy desk that we put together as well uh made it all the way up to montreal with no issues um and we set it up so people could actually play on it which was pretty cool and the boss man himself hugging the biggest pc we've ever built <laughs> pretty awesome Oh, yeah, hey, who's that big fat guy in the background? I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, again, it was a really, really awesome time to uh, go to DreamHack Montreal. If it ever happens again, I suggest you go to it. Um, this is pretty much the entrance to DreamHack. Uh, it's down in the actual Olympic Stadium, uh, so you actually get to like kind of walk down onto the field. Um, and they have all of these different uh, setups going on throughout the, entire, the entirety of the show. Um, they have different uh, competitions going on in different parts of the uh, the arena, so you can pretty much just come up and sit in the uh, stadium seating and watch what's going on, or you can walk around uh, around the booths and stuff like that. Um, but then they also have a seated area for um, uh, PCs that are on display and for people that are actually want to be part of the LAN as well. Um, so that was actually, hey, yeah, hey, look at that guy. He's, once the photo actually loads, there you go. Oh my god, my derpy ass look. Um, we were actually playing some uh, Mordhau, which was pretty cool across the three different screens there. Um, again, we still use this uh, setup here at the shop. Joe uses it on a daily basis, which is pretty cool. And uh, Jonathan has actually uh, got the cosmic build put together. That was the that was the 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 show where we were finishing your tubing before it started, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, so, oh yeah and then um 
uh, our friend Stefan, uh, Duality92, uh, ended up showing up as well and bringing his PC up for the weekend, and we hung out and played some really cool games and, and had a great time. So um, definitely very, very cool. It's a little bit of a bittersweet moment for us because we want to, you know, we want to be going to these shows and stuff like that, but, you know, obviously with uh, everything that's going on, we don't exactly get the chance to. That being said, uh, PAX, well... As you can see, none of the none of the dates have been updated um, because, well, nobody's going anywhere. So uh, basically, the pretty sure the PAX in Australia has been canceled. It's been turned into an online event as well. Um, same with uh, any of these other events that are going on or that were supposed to be scheduled. I mean, I know registration opens soon. I can't actually believe that that'll happen but um the reason that i bring this up is because i wanted to talk about the online presence of pax and how this is way different than uh you know than any of us are really used to uh basically they have online streaming and stuff like that that's going on throughout the entirety of the show um you can basically you can buy you can buy merch and buy stuff but honestly it doesn't have the same appeal as being there that's for sure um so we did go and i wanted to take a look at the arena schedule because i know that there are some uh, uh some things that are going on you know they're going to have di different uh, uh valorant tournaments going on throughout the the uh, entirety of the the week there um you also have different uh, people that are talking and doing different uh different things on the different days so um you know it's uh yeah, late. gotta love late hour office zooms. <laughs> All right, boss. Hey, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Have a uh, good rest of the day. Um, but again, you know, PAX being online and stuff like that, I keep clicking PAX East hoping that something's going to change here, but unfortunately it's just not. And I don't think that the PAX 2021 is going to happen either. So I'm hoping, hoping, praying, wishing, dreaming that uh, hopefully all this COVID stuff goes away uh sometime soon now obviously with the whole school being you know reopened and all that it probably isn't going to be so great however um if you are interested in seeing uh what's going on with the pack schedule that would have been pax west take a look at the uh, online.packsite.com it has all the different streams and everything that's going on uh they have three different packs uh or sorry four different pack streams uh, one is the actual arena, which does have the um, the tournaments that will be taking place throughout the uh, the week, and then you obviously have your different uh, your different packs uh, channels here that allows you to do the different uh, you know allows you to see the different different uh, manufacturers that are participating, different indie games that are coming out, and that type of thing. So uh, that is uh, that is unfortunate. You know, I miss everybody, you know, everybody that I mentioned earlier in the stream and everybody I haven't actually officially met yet or anything like that. I mean, hell, I've been working with Travis for almost two years now, uh, over two, a well, year and some, almost two years. Yeah, right. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I still haven't met the guy. And it's unfortunate because, uh, you know, without this, if this COVID thing didn't really happen, then we would be uh, all hanging out together, having a good time, having a big party pretty much. So. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys being here and uh, joining us. Hopefully, uh, maybe, because I know that this starts on the 12th, which is four days from now, which is Saturday, and then it ends on the 20th. So it starts this Saturday and then goes all the way until next week. So maybe next week we'll uh, take a look and see what the heck is actually going on at PAX, PAX Online, take a look at some of the videos, and who knows, maybe something cool is coming out. I know that Baldur's Gate 3 is supposed to be releasing soon. Maybe there'll be some more footage of that, or maybe there'll be some cool computer builds on display virtually or something. I don't know. But we'll take a look at it together, right? You know, I mean, that's that's pretty much all that we can do. We can do our best to, uh, you know, trying to make uh, the best out of a crappy situation, and uh, we can do it together, or we can all cry silently by ourselves in the corner. But that's it for today. That's all I got for you. I hope you had a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. I know I enjoy doing this stream every week, and I really appreciate everybody joining us in the chat. And uh, thank you for all the information. Thank you for all the help. You know, again, I don't know everything. 
I do uh, look to you guys for advice, and I do look to other people for advice as well. Um, so thank you for all of your help, your support, and hopefully we can uh, do something soon, and maybe we can see each other you know, face-to-face -face maybe in the next year or so. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but that is it for this afternoon. Have a wonderful rest of the week, and uh, we will see you on Friday. Take care.